Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Auto Resource YouTube channel. This video will be about 2011 Jetta Wagon TDI. This lady, baby, she has 173,000 miles on the odometer. I just purchased her, driven her only a few times. It's all brand new to me, this vehicle. And she has a one problem, and that's why I bought her for very cheap. She has coming back code P0401, which is EGR insufficient flow. I made a different video on this channel, on this vehicle, and I explained the components of the EGR system, and I also discussed which are the most common, statistically most common parts which will cause this problem. Let's go in this video to start with the most common problem statistically on this CJAA 2.0 liter TDI engine, which is the EGR low pressure connecting pipe. This is basically the first item which is leaving the exhaust system after DPF, diesel particle filter. We will look at it, we will remove it and let's go see if it can be cleaned or it has to be replaced with a new part. So let's see where it is located. This engine is so dry. It always surprised me how Diesel engine, turbo diesel engine can be dry. I love it. All the TDIs in the past, they were always wrapping the oil. So, here is the exhaust system. Uh, you don't see the DPF. Uh, this is just a flex pipe. Uh, DPF is in the back. I will move the light to show it to you better. Now we are talking. So, do you see that clamp and that little torx? bolt holding it that's our EGR filter pipe I will show it from different angle here you can see hopefully the mesh these come do you see it yeah these come in two different options or variants the previous one the very beginning the older version looked different it was like a big metal canister with the pipes this one having that mesh it's a newer version uh, I will try to remove it in this video, which you are looking at the clamp. There is a Torx something plus two bolts, uh, which are connecting that pipe right there. Let me see, you see it, hopefully. That's connection to the NGR cooler. So let's go take it off and see if we have to order a new one or it can be clean if it's plugged i don't know so that clamp it's very conveniently oriented towards to me and it looks the bolt on it it's a hex number five i sprayed a little bit of the lubricant on it and that is nicely coming off. Yep. Wonderful. I should be able to just pop off that clamp. That's correct. And hopefully you can see my extension with a bobble. At the end there are these two bolts and they are 13 millimeter sockets so i will i need some space for myself here so i will take it off you can see how it's held where it is i will take it off and we will look at it if it's plugged and if it can be cleaned or i need a new part here here is what you can see after i removed that it was actually very easy so this is the opening the black hole that's opening in that egr cooler there seems to be, everything seems to be like a newer. And the opening here in the exhaust pipe, uh, right there. I put finger my, uh, myself, there is no 
nothing plugged there absolutely nice and open so so far very easy if you want to do it yourself no problem at all and here is our part this is the exhaust area with its gasket this is the EGR cooler connection I keep looking for this gasket I'm not sure if it was there I cannot find it at this moment but I will keep looking for it. There needs to be obviously gasket between EGR cooler and so on. Now it seems to be, it's not completely plugged. I already did blow in it and the air is moving through. Let me show you. This is what we will do as a mechanics. I could use a compress air, but it nicely fits on my mouth. So without further ado, sorry for this. And I don't really feel any restriction. I feel a little bit of uh, uh, hesitancy, let's say, but no restriction. It doesn't matter. I will go and try to soak the inside and get some of that possible carbon deposits out. But again, if you look, this is not the part which seems to be plugged with some excessive carbon deposits. In our case today I will try to use this CRC cleaner. It's an intake valve and turbo cleaner oh. and I want to see if this will remove anything. So in the dirty pan I put a clean pan and we can observe if this is any success or not. So. Already within like 30 seconds, we can see there are particles, black chunks coming out of it. So definitely, definitely worth spending some time and little money trying to clean these babies. I wonder when we will be done if the resistance will change, resistance of the flow. So I have no noise of slashing of liquid inside and I believe I'm not mystifying myself I believe that from that initial blow in it when it was still dirty completely uh, different there is still a little bit of resistance it goes both ways, way less resistance or more flow, let's put it this way. Yeah, it just flows normally, blows normally. Uh, I don't think I have any residue or if there is residue of the liquid inside. Uh, it's evaporating right now. These are all very toxic sprays, so it's a lot of evaporation. You ideally use it in the open area, um, so you don't lose your brain cells, or not too many. I think this is ready. I see improvement. <sighs> totally blow through. It's fantastic. I did find the other gasket. It was just sitting on the frame, so I will put it back. These gaskets, of course, are single use. I was not ready for it. I'm only looking what are the options and if the parts can be improved. Of course, when you will be dealing with this or ordering these things ahead, you will replace both of these putties with the part. This is all single use only. I will reuse it today. I have no other choice. I'm just trying to even figure out what this baby needs to run perfectly again. So I have it nicely back in the place. This is what came out of it as you can see 
and I will pause on that footage, I will hold on it and I will do today exactly the same. I will drive her under the same conditions after I will clear that coat and I will see if it will happen again the same way. Only after, and that's for sake of per experiment, only after I will move on going to clean the EGR valve which is on the front of the engine check the pipe, the pipe which goes to it, that it's okay and open and uh, I will wait for that so we can see if this cleaning had any effect on the malfunction on the coat or not. So I will talk to you tomorrow. And exactly the same thing happened after cleaning. So I drove home and it was totally fine. But on the way back to the shop in the morning, approximately in the same area, check engine light came on. There's no drivability issue. It just pops on. I can drive full speed. There's no loss power or anything like that. It just... The cell is in the dashboard. So let's go and scan it and see what's happening. After we clean that EGR filter pipe. Oh yeah, P0401 exhaust gas recirculation flow insufficient detected. We have the same results. So I have erased the code and I will just keep driving her and working on her. It's a project, as I said in different videos, I bought her as a challenge, as a project. It's an entertainment. This one has zero problems and it's perfectly driving. This one needs a love. She needs a love to be happy again. So thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumb up and stay tuned. I will keep filming this whole story and everybody can learn from my process what will be the results. See you later my friend.